Give us a coach talk about the responsibility of taking over as interim head coach for bowl preparations. It's a great responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, excited about it. Uh, the players are excited about it. You know, a uh, great opportunity. Did Coach Cohen approach you about this? Uh, we talked, you know, and uh, he came to me. And, again, I just uh, I, I see it as an opportunity for me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he put his trust and faith in me. And, you know, the program is based on hard work. We're going to do what we do. Nothing's going to change. What was sort of his message to you as to as to why he wanted to you in charge going forward? Well, it was a, a point where I was uh, the one that had the most, I guess, communication with the entire team. Being a special teams coach, I uh, was put in front of the entire team, not just offense, but offense and defense. So it was one of those situations where I was the one that it spoke on both sides of the ball. What? Well, how do you think your first practice went today? It went great. It went great. Uh, I thought they came out with a lot of juice, a lot of energy. Uh, they came to work today. You know, we were back in our element. We were back on the field. You know, for a, a week now they've been in finals. So they were excited to get out of finals. That was finally done, and they were excited to be back on that field. A lot, a lot of coaches use the early bowl practice to get some twos and some red shirts, some, some reds before you really start bowl game prep. How are you breaking that up? The same way. You know, we got, uh, got some reps for some young guys today. Uh, got them involved a little bit more and took some of the older guys out, uh, helping them get healthy, you know, limiting their reps, but uh, also giving them an opportunity to, you know, continue with their technique and fundamentals. How have you spent this past week planning for bowl camp? That one more time. This past week you've had, since, the, since you were notified you'd be taking over, how have you spent the days planning for this bowl camp? Uh, it's been every day for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, the, some of the coaches have been on the road recruiting, uh, but I stayed here and – it's, it's different when you sit in that seat, mm -hmm. you know. So I was here the entire time planning, watching video, doing the cut-ups, you know. And uh, I tell you what, we, we're playing uh, a young man from Louisville that is really, really special. And, you know, not only are we playing a Heisman Trophy winner, but one that's up in New York right now, mm -hmm. you know, looking to get another one. So he is special. Is there anybody that uh, obviously, you know, just been a head coach for a bowl game, and they, I don't know how much you would have to do this, but is there – do you ask anybody for advice as to what you need to do? Uh, always, always. <laughs> I, I've been I've been fortunate. I've been blessed. Uh, this is my 23rd year in this league, you know. And I was talking with one of the coaches the other day, asking advice, and we were talking. And you know, we were talking about I've been in the league 23 years and under two coaches, you know. And so uh, I've been blessed to again be in that position. All right, had a lot of opportunities to learn. And then, you know, with Coach English has been a head coach, you know, me and him, we sit there and we watch video and we talk, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I take input. I'm a learner. I'm a sponge. You know, I don't have all the answers, but I, 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 I uh, lean on my staff. When you, hearing for a guy like Lamar Jackson, what's the dynamic been like on the defensive side when you lose your defensive coordinator? Uh, I assume Coach English has kind of been taking the lead there. What's, what's it been like with that staff kind of funny things? And, I guess who are the guys that are going to be leading each position group as well? Well, today was day one, you know, so day one for all the players to get with their coaches, you know, and uh, again, look at Lamar. Lamar is special. You know, he is, again, I don't know if Mississippi State has faced a Heisman Trophy candidate before or Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, when they, did they play Ricky Williams at Texas? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, so that, that was one, right? After he won? Yeah. Okay, Tebow. well, this Tebow. is number two. Tim Tebow. Yeah, Tim Tebow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I mean, Lamar is special, you know, and, and our guys know it. You know, they know of him, and, and I think they consider it a challenge, you know, a great opportunity for them, you know, because I'm sure a lot of NFL scouts will be watching. So it's a great opportunity for everyone on our defense. Roughly how will you break up the days and what will be just practicing, getting, a, like you said, getting a lot of young guys work, and then actual bowl preparation here before you all go to game site? We got uh, five practices before we go to the bowl, mm -hmm. before we go to game site. Uh, that will be spent mostly on uh, developing the young kids mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of preparing for Louisville. Mm -hmm. I may have missed them, but I didn't see Martinez ranking. Was that just because he was at graduation? or? Say it again? I, must, I may have missed him, but I didn't see Martinez ranking out there. Oh, graduation. Like graduation. Graduation today, yes. Yes. Uh, how, how tempting is it to leave your running back guys and go over to the position now that you're interim head coach, you're just going to stick with your guys? You know, that that's different for me. <laughs> you know, because normally I, 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 talk, I was telling people, normally I'm, I'm horse blinders, I got my guys, uh -huh. you know, my six running backs. And all week last week, I got the whole team down. 
So I'm covering academics for the whole team. I'm making sure the whole team is at tutoring. I'm making sure the whole team is at study hall. I'm making sure the whole team is on top of their academics. You know, so I had to take the horse blinders off. It had to cover both sides. So today it was actually good to be out there and running around with the defense and the offense. You know, I uh, haven't done that before. So that was exciting and fun for me. How often do you think you'll be talking to Coach Moorhead about what you saw at practice or how things are developing, or uh, especially with him busy recruiting right now? He, he's busy. He's going on the road recruiting. You know, he's here. He's got uh, recruits in this weekend. Uh, we haven't had an opportunity to visit much. Uh, I just passed him in the hall, you know, and he said, hey, Coach, how you doing? I said, hey, Coach, how you doing? <laughs> you know, and uh, we pass and we keep going. But uh, he, he's out on the road recruiting and, uh, you know, doing what he needs to do.